Um, basically, we are uh, doing very well. We've got a whole range of new products and upgrades to existing products. And um, we've got a very broad product range that's, uh, that's been treating us very well uh, lately and giving the customers what they want. We deal in the experimental and light sport markets, basically anything non-certified, and we've got a pretty good range of customers in both of those categories. Definitely we've seen with the experimentals that it's become very much the norm to have a glass panel in some form or another. Even just a few years ago, there was still a pretty large quantity of guys going for analog gauges, but not so much anymore. And we're finding now, even with some of our small kind of retrofit models, that these are finding their way into otherwise analog panels. So I would say, in general, everything's going glass and certified market, and experimental has followed along pretty much in line. The MGL product line basically consists of a range of color EFSs, monochrome EFSs, mini EFSs, and a range of monochrome single instruments with single functions, as well as radios. So what we have here is one of our flagship products, the Voyager EFIS. It's a full function EFIS with basically everything going on for it. We have it in two different sizes, an 8.4 inch, which is called the Voyager, and a 10.4 inch, which is called the Odyssey. And essentially, it does everything that you would want it to do. It has primary flight information, including 3D synthetic terrain. It has a full function moving map GPS, and it has engine monitoring as well as fuel functions. What we have that a lot of uh, the others do not have is a keypad, an alphanumeric keypad, which allows us to enter selections very quickly with a few clicks and also allows us to select any one of the nine basic display pages that we have available. So one press on any of these buttons, one to nine, changes the screen view to a different view that you can set up prior. These are our standard screens that we ship. And you can see that basically anything that you might want to see is displayed on these screens. One of the, the features that all of our large screen color ephesus have is the ability to customize the screen. So everything that you see on the screen here is a, is a screen component that can be placed on the screen, moved around, the format can be changed. So for that reason, we are often found in a lot of the more interesting experimental designs out there, helicopters, racing airplanes, aerobatic airplanes, because these guys want to see certain things in, in a certain way. And we're the only company that really allows you, like in this case here, to display whatever you want to see in whatever form you want to see it and ignore all the rest. So we have a lot of very interesting screen designs. So that's one of the things that sets us aside because, of course, all of the features from the EFIS companies are kind of converging. Our large color EFIS all have a built-in autopilot and voice alerts, moving map GPS, engine monitoring, all the primary flight information and uh, everything you basically need. We have our own, we're in our generation six AHARs. This is our basic AHARs package based on low cost gyros. And we're in our sixth generation and we're very happy with the performance. We also have a so-called professional grade AHARs which uses the same gyros that are found in certified systems. That's about double the price, but you know, very good performance. And we haven't had any issues with performance of the AHARs with good installation in just about any aircraft. Now, another moment of freedom from Sirius Aircraft. Freedom through safety. Perhaps the ultimate freedom is confidence, assurance, and peace of mind. We design it into every personal aircraft we build. It's the security that comes with knowing you're flying the plane with a parachute. The breakthrough concept that launched the Cirrus phenomenon. You're looking at about $6,000 for this unit, complete with engine senders, fuel senders, AHARs, GPS is included. Everything is all one package. Okay. You don't have to add too many things on. Okay. And to add autopilot functions, you're looking at adding another $2,000 and you've got a full two-axis autopilot, which is built into the system. The autopilot is driven internally by the system. The servos connect directly to the EFIS and it's all a seamless integration. There's not a, an, a separate autopilot controller if you engage the autopilot, then any navigation that you have active uh, drives the autopilot. You can drive a number of screens with the same AHARs, uh, with the same engine modules, everything ties into everything else. Okay. And of course, each unit has its own pedostatic and its own internal GPS. So even though you can master slave a pair of uh, EFSs, if anything goes wrong with one, the other unit still has everything redundant uh, in terms of pedostatic engine monitoring, capture, etc. The Voyager and Odyssey, basically about 80% of our customers are RV builders. But then, of course, we have them in everything from lancers to helicopters to gyros. 
to uh, anything that flies, and of course a bunch of light sport models as well. We basically are OEM on several of the US manufactured LSAs okay. and working on, working on them uh, constantly. Our synthetic terrain is based on a terrain database which is provided by the government free of charge and a GPS position. So it's fairly simple in, in that and it okay. uses the one kilometer terrain resolution which is perfectly adequate for terrain avoidance and flying as close to the terrain as you would want to. So that's where we get our data from. Our mapping data comes from the FAA. We compile it uh, with a number of databases which we provide free of charge. Mm -hmm. And Jeppesen is also going to be available uh, within the month. So you will be able to get a Jeppesen subscription as well. The beauty of the, the Voyager system and the Odyssey and all of our color ephesus is the SD card slot. So anytime you want to update the data or update the firmware of the EFIS, you just copy a, a few files to the SD card, plug it in the front, push a few buttons, and you're ready to go. With uh, upgrading the firmware, you just copy one file, insert it, turn the unit on, and it updates it. This SD card also serves the purpose uh, of a flight data recorder. So once per second, every, every function, every parameter is recorded to the SD card. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. So we're looking at the Odyssey EFIS over here, the MGL Avionics Odyssey EFIS. This is our largest uh, EFIS with a 10.4 inch diagonal display. So it's exactly the same as the Voyager EFIS, except it's a different size. It's even the same price. So when it comes to choosing between the Odyssey and the Voyager, all you've got to do is choose your size because uh, they're priced the same and they do exactly the same. One of the unique features of the Voyager and the Odyssey is the ability to do external video out and in. So that means you can pipe in an external video camera, let's say a taxi camera for a tail dragger or a rear view camera for a helicopter, and you can display that uh, video image anywhere on the screen or you can dedicate a whole screen to it because there are nine available. Or you can overlay it on your AHAR. So you could use it as a, you know, enhanced vision type of deal with a, with a forward looking infrared. There's four video inputs for external video. And some of the Reno racers use them for taxi cameras and even for approach cameras because some of them cannot see the runway when they're lining up on the approach. So that comes in handy. Um, and then the other feature that we have is, is video output. We have a standard VGA video output on the EFIS. So if you have a, a tandem aircraft like a, an RV-8 or any bi, an aerobatic biplane, you can simply pipe the video to a, a flat panel LCD display in the back seat. And uh, the guy in the back will see exactly what the guy in the front is looking at for the cost of a screen. And you can get those for under $500 don't have to buy an extra EFIS. You could put an extra EFIS in the back or you could just put an LCD display repeating. The Odyssey and the Voyager uh, can both uh, control and enunciate for the VPX uh, solid state circuit breaker system. So you can have a dedicated page that shows the, the status of all of your circuits and any kind of alarm function that, that occurs uh, will be displayed. The Odyssey and the Voyager also feature voice alerts. You can have voice alarms for any, any of the functions uh, on, your, on your EFIS and we supply a synthetic female voice and you can record your own if you'd like as well.